Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're back in heartbeat on H.KI or H.Key, as George likes to pronounce it. And here's the thing, I want to show you a video by Oscar Owens, or Oscar Owen, pardon me, no, it's not plural. <laughs> Oscar Owen, he talks about retention video editing. It is a new video editing style that is taking over the internet, taking over YouTube in particular, and he gives you many, many examples, including on who uses it, how to use it, what's good about it, what's bad about it, etc. How he made a lot of money using it, not gonna lie, he did quite well. And then he's gonna show you authentic editing, which is the newer style that he sort of goes in for, and then he'll show you the difference between the two. This is a fantastic video for those of you that are wanting to make it on YouTube and you wanna know how to do the different video editing styles, all the flashy animations and motion graphics, etc. This is the video for you, so join me. Let's, let's, go, let's go through it. <laughs> All right, so here we are on my heartbeat. If you want to follow along, you can see here I'm on h.ki or hkey. All you got to do is go to my heartbeat and then click on moments like I've done here. And then you'll see I've got all of these different moments. You can, of course, follow me if you like at Curtis Pike, etc. But here we go. Here are the moments that I've selected from this video by Oscar Owen, the editing revolution. So let's get into it. It starts off quick. It starts with a bang. So here we go. That this contestant will enjoy his We're surviving the next 24 hours in this desert, but the only yeah. thing we have is a one million dollar night. That, my friends, is called retention video editing. And yet, so there you go. That is the beginning, and it's called retention video editing, like he said. And you can already see the, the guy there with the, with the transparent, it looked like he had post traumatic stress disorder, like he served in a war. And to be fair, this is hyperkinetic. ADD type editing that's built kind of for younger people. Let's listen to what he has to say about it. The thing is, YouTube is changing and your audience is okay. tired of all these flashy, overstimulating video edits and they want something new. Yeah. And guess what? There is a new video editing style that's slowly taking over YouTube and it's the complete opposite of everything you know. Now, my name's Oscar Owen and I've got another YouTube channel with over 1 million subscribers. And I've been experimenting with this new editing style okay. and I've been seeing some really good results with it. So many of my videos are now getting millions of views on my other channel and it's helped me build a really strong community and help my channel make a lot. Look at all that dosh. <laughs> but he's showing you his back end here. Not that sounded weird, but he's showing you his analytics behind YouTube and he made a fair bit of money there. So let's keep going and, and see what he has to say here. More money to start being able to do this whole YouTube thing full time, which Whoa. is pretty cool. So in this video, I'll show you what this new editing style is and how you can quickly implement it into your videos before everyone else starts doing it. All right, so here we go. Let's go forward to a minute 19 and it's called scene cut or graphic every 2.3 seconds. What the heck? Mr. Beast on average is a scene cut or graphic every 2.3 seconds. Let me, let me repeat that. Mr. Beast, who's the prime example of this retention video editing style, has a scene cut or graphic or motion graphic or something flashing blinking every 2.3 seconds on average. So sometimes there's even faster. <laughs> sometimes it's 2.3 seconds, sometimes it's one second. It's crazy. Let's keep going a little here. On his channel. And it comes as no surprise, the algorithm absolutely loves this. Important point. The algorithm loves this. So it promotes these videos to more people, meaning the retention edited videos tend to get a lot more views. And I am guilty of doing retention video editing. I used to do it yeah. all the time on my other channel and it worked very well. Like, So there you go. That is the style. It's basically the Mr. Beast style. It's geared towards younger people. It's geared towards low, uh, you know, Shorter attention spans, if I'm being blunt here, and he talks about this as well in the whole video. Of course, the link to the whole video is in the description below. But there you go. That is retention editing. However, there are some caveats. Let's get forward a few seconds and go into a few of those. Notice from doing retention editing is firstly, you produce videos that offer less value to your audience. And yes, they produce they produce videos that offer less value to less value to your audience. Amazing. This is, this is good that he said this. Let's use the video I just gave you as an example. Because okay. I edited this video for attention, I never showed my face, 
and the, the channel and video teaches magic tricks, as you can see, mm -hmm. and I rushed over the magic tricks that I was teaching, which means I didn't teach them as well as I could have done. Also, I could keep my viewers stimulated, keep rattling through those tricks, and this just boosts my watch time to help the video get more views. And this meant, even though the video did very well in terms of numbers, right. the quality of what I actually delivered to the viewer wasn't as good as it could have been. You heard it here. So there you go, guys. Sometimes keeping the retention style where you've got flashing everything and motion graphics and everything's always just going nuts. It keeps people hooked. It keeps people watching, but you don't always deliver the level of value that you would like to. Let's go forward a little more now, and he's going to talk about not just the views and subs, but here's a little bit about relationships and why he thinks this matters. Doing YouTube for about like seven, eight years, okay. and I've got to the point where I've realized that YouTube isn't just about views and subscribers. Sure, it's nice, but the more powerful thing with YouTube is about building relationships and really sharing your voice and just creating a community. And that's really hard to do when you only edit for retention, as I used to do. Another really good point here. So if you edit, again, with the the retention style, with the with the flashy and the hyperkinetic style, you know, you don't connect with your viewers as much. It's always something new, something's changing, something's coming in, something's leaving, zooming, flashing. You're not going to connect as well. I'm glad he brought this up, even though he does say that he uses this style. He goes on to admit it, and he and and, and that takes a that takes a fair bit of honesty on his part. So let's skip forward a little bit here, and he's going to talk about m how much money you can make using this style as well. And then he's going to introduce another style called authentic editing. And then thirdly, you often make a lot less money with retention editing. So I know I just showed you a video that did earn a lot of money, but that video does does have 13 million views, and that obviously isn't very common. Real wealth on YouTube isn't really built through adverts and ad revenue. It's built through selling products to your audience. And I assume most of you watching this video want to start a channel with the hopes of making it a part-time or full-time occupation. And so the problem with over-edited videos is you tend to attract a younger audience who's got a shorter attention span and therefore less buying power. So if you're trying to sell something to your audience, they're less likely to buy it, essentially. So this is an incredibly good point. Now, I mean, everybody's different. Who your audience is versus who my audience is, probably completely different. But again, if you skew younger, they generally don't have the same level of buying power where if you made videos for 45-year-old men uh, <laughs> that own three homes or rich people that are looking to invest their money in hedge funds, they're ready to buy things. So just keep that in the back of your mind. The style of editing that you choose does it should be it should consider or contemplate the audience that you're going after really good point by oscar glad he brought it up let's skip forward now we're going to go right here pretty much to the end where he talks about a different style of editing called authentic editing what is this new style of editing well i like to call it authentic editing and it's where you deliver value first build a connection second hmm. and then keep your viewers watching third You'll notice that I'm not saying get rid of retention editing altogether because you still want your viewers to keep watching your videos, just not at the cost of authenticity and value. So there you go. He introduces this now. To be fair, he has gone to, on to say that he has used retention editing. So not that he's, uh, you know, hypocritical, but uh, he is aware of both styles and that both styles work in the right circumstances. Let's get forward a bit here. He has a few good examples of people that he thinks uses this newer style called authentic editing. This is Olia Online. I might be pronouncing his name. Olia correctly. Online. And have a watch of his video here. Imagine being in your 30s, looking back with zero regrets, having a bulging bank account and having memories that are priceless. What if I told you that there is a clear method to set you ahead of the pack? So as you can see, he's just got his laptop for some notes and he's got minimal editing in his video. And he just kind of like speaks his mind whilst providing value to the audience. So this is a little more minimalistic. This is not the Mr. Beast, you know, in your face style. This has pop-ups, it has zoom-ins, it has some basic motion graphics, but it's not overdone, it's not flashy, it's not crazy transitions. Let's skip forward and see one more example. And I just really love his vibe because you feel like you kind of get to know him when watching the videos. Interesting. However, notice he's still got good production quality, you know, good lighting, mm -hmm. and he's still very much to the point when he's delivering his content. And most importantly, he's prioritizing connection and value over retention. So there you go. There you go. So let's skip forward now. He's got two more examples, but the next one I really like. Let's go right into that one. 
The second YouTuber is this guy here called Heinz, and let's have a watch of one of his videos. You know when they say, hey, like, what will you die for? What will you live for? Oh, were you? you just missed such a beautiful stream right here at the number one chill spot on the internet. And just notice how raw and authentic he is when he's talking to the camera. It's very slow paced, and again, he's just delivering value and trying to connect with his audience. So there you go. Those are two really good examples. Guys, I mean, what style you end up going with is up to you, of course, and of course what you can afford. Some people can afford to have 10 cameras and 10 video editors. I mean, some people have a, a, have a basic cell phone and that's all you got. You do what you can, but these are just worth keeping in the back of your head. Now, the last one here is the last moment here is at 649 Lottery. <laughs> uh, let's check this out and then we're going to wrap it up. Now, the one thing I don't want you to do, which I have seen some other YouTubers talking about this topic recommend, is just kind of like set up a camera and start mm. talking with no plan for your video, all in the name that it's going to be way more authentic. The problem is when you just set up a camera and don't think about what you're going to say or the lighting or anything like that, your authenticity can just get misconstrued for a lack of effort and people end up just clicking off. Fair. And at the end of the day, you still have to play the YouTube game. So there you go. You don't want to just wing it, right? Like total vlog, you know, shaky camera. I mean, unless that is the aesthetic you're going for for a select scene or two, generally you don't want to do that. Although there are a few examples. That weightlifting guy, Sam Sulek or something like that, seems to be pretty off the cuff. Uh, but they tend to have outsized, over-the-top personality. So, so there you go, guys. That is retention video editing. And then the second part was about, well, the new type of editing, right? The authentic style. So let me know in the comments below which style you prefer. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video. A ton more stuff coming up, guys. Stay tuned.